this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown if i'm on the mission is you riding like some michelin homie in the kitchen fire stones how he whipping it i be on my michigan blue and yellow vintage it's make a right on michigan 69 too hot for us stick on me like hockey puck penmanship like hamilton damn fool i go aaron burr 290 life just a blur jeffrey finds frederick burner phone now a lot been going on frederick came onto the scene and we thought that frederick was just like jeffrey's young son but you always got to remember that these people grow up these people have lives of their own these people get into things these people get friends and so we basically found out that frederick is hiding something we don't know what we don't know if he what he's doing he's doing it to try to protect jeffrey or we don't know if what he's doing he's doing it to try to gain information on jeffrey for somebody else but I told y'all in my previous video that Will Smith, he actually heard Frederick on the phone talking to somebody from back in London. And that conversation sounded like he was being a uh, shady. If y'all want to watch that video, go to my Bel Air season three playlist to get my breakdown and recap on that situation. So fast forward, they end up going to like some like um, car show and basically they go there. They got this shirt brand called Black Sets, which is their new business. They trying to break out well. Frederick basically ended up telling the man the real money is on the car racing and that happens after hours. So Will and Carlton got in the streets to do an illegal car race. Will and Carlton ended up winning that street race and they ended up helping Jazz keep his car in, get $30,000 in order to pay his taxes on a record store. Now, Frederick, he was out making bets and he actually beat some guys out of some money. The guys was trying to beat him up. The police came, they ran, they went to a parking garage. Jeffrey pulled up on them and Jeffrey started inquiring about, hey, what's going on with Frederick? So Carlton ended up telling Frederick that, hey, we heard that you've been up to some things and you got to tell Jeffrey about what's going on with you. We'd rather you tell him than we tell him. And then Frederick said, hey, well, if I'm telling Jeffrey anything, I'm telling him the entire truth. Do y'all? I want him to know that y'all street racing so obviously they stopped from that point but then moving forward Carlton felt bad about what was going on he told Jeffrey that he was street racing and told him that he had something else to tell him about Frederick Jeffrey basically just told him hey that's my son let me worry about him and then Jeffrey ended up going to his room and snooping around while I believe Frederick was in the shower and he ended up finding his burner phone now the biggest problem with me is Frederick got a burner phone and he just got the burner phone sitting in his bag like that that is crazy now I do understand that you feel like it's your bag it's your personal items nobody will go through them nobody should go through it but I would have tried to hide that in a drawer or something but then when you look at it Jeffrey is the butler of the house so I don't know if he changed people's sheets and stuff like that but I'm almost sure he do and the reason why I'm saying that because my first thought would be to like hide it under the bed like just put it under my mattress or put it in your shoes like that's somewhere that you would do man when you put something down inside of your shoes people never gonna check and be like oh he keeping this inside of his shoes that's just me if it was my burner phone but anyway um and the episode ended right there so we have to wait and see what ends up happening with jeffrey how do jeffrey play this out um do he confront frederick or do i think the first thing that jeffrey is gonna do if he's not emotional about it he's gonna send those numbers to somebody to have them analyze those numbers he may even give them the feel and figure out who those numbers belong to um i'm sure that by looking at them he can already tell that they from over in london but what is frederick up to jeffrey brought frederick there to keep him safe but in reality he may have bought frederick there and put everybody else in danger one thing i hope that don't happen in bel-air i hope that don't nobody die on this show because this is more of like a feel-good show so i would hate to see somebody die in the process of this Thanks for listening to today's breakdown of Bel Air. If you like what you heard, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. For more exclusive Bel Air content, follow me on Facebook at Powerbook Multiverse and Cinema, on Twitter, Power and Cinema, or follow my personal social media, Fairplay underscore 2333, on all platforms. Stay fresh, keep it real, and remember where you come from. Um, 
Fair Play 2333. This is Power Book Multiverse and Cinema, and salute to all the cinema cronies. Check out my original Chicago hood movie in the end screen, No Time to Play Fair. If your favorite Chicago rapper turned his mixtape or album into a movie, it would be No Time to Play Fair, starring and directed by me, Fair Play 2333.